You can create an entire month's worth of vertical videos to post on social media within an hour. It's as simple as going to the YouTube video, copying the link, and going to opus.pro. From here, you're gonna post a YouTube link in this box here and smash get free clips. Now, watch AI do its thing. It'll take about five to 15 minutes and I'll get an email when it's ready. So, it only took six minutes, now I have 12 different videos to share to social media. The real question is, are these videos any good? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Joe Zeppelin here, and today I'm gonna to show you probably the most insane AI tool that I recently got my hands on. Before I show you what these videos actually look like, I am not sponsored by Opus.pro. I just genuinely find it really crazy that these AI tools are allowing us to share and summarize information in mass like this, and I know it will help you out. All I ask in return is that you hit that little subscribe button down in the bottom right corner. It really helps me out, and you get to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. Let's go. Let's first take a look at who Opus.pro is best for. It says here the AI platform works best for videos that are talking videos. This includes video podcasts, educational videos. It's not gonna work that well for vlogs, gaming videos, or music videos. Here's how Opus.pro works. With video number one, you'll get an attention grabbing title with a viral score. This score shows the video's potential to go viral on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels. And you can read down here how it got that rating and some of the logic the AI software went into making your video. Next, you can simply download this video or you can edit the video to enhance its quality. In the top corner, you have the ability to add an intro caption. These are incredibly helpful to hook a viewer's attention in the first few seconds of your video. Next, you can see all the captions that are gonna play throughout your video. I like to review these, make sure everything's spelled right, and if you like to change any word, you can simply click it here, click the pencil, and type the word you want it to show. It's also really important to add color to specific keywords to make them pop. The key colors are automatically green and yellow, but you can add your own brand colors by clicking brand and changing the AI keyword highlighter. Also, if you want to have some fun with it, turn on auto emojis. This will display certain emojis throughout the course of your video, keep your viewers' attention, and they're kind of funny. Lastly, select your layout settings. So there are three different layout settings. I personally like fill. This is the traditional layout you see on most vertical videos. It takes up the whole digital footprint of your screen and it just looks really nice. The second option is fit. Fit will actually keep the whole horizontal video and just provide some filler above and below it. This is great if your video has a lot of special effects or you really need that wide landscape view in your video. The last one is split and it's really, really cool. This one's best for podcasts. What it's gonna do is if you have two people talking, it's gonna move one of your people to the top of the video and the other one to the bottom of the video and one's gonna be able to talk, the other one's gonna be able to listen and it goes back and forth and you can see reactions, people speaking. It is absolutely awesome. Once your edits are complete, go to that save and compile button to download your video. And dun da da, here is our completed vertical video. Awesome. This is a strong vertical video that I think would do really well. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things AI, business, and tech. And as always, start small, start today. I'll see you in the next video.